Okay, so um, got the rotisserie motor, and got the, the stake that it comes with, obviously. It's in there like a, right? Um, some collars that uh, allows it to uh, ride in the supplied trays that they give it, give us, which is a nice touch. All right, um, and a this is uh, to an old sander, uh, a dowel sander that I had. You slide the sanding paper over this. I'm going to use this to uh, stick each collar in on each end. All right. The bar will go through this and into there, and I'm going to cut a little hole right here. And this will flex. So it'll just sit in there enough to hold the ball. So this will be like that. We'll hold the balls in place, and as it turns, it will flex a little and squeeze the ball by and drop one at a time, hopefully at around six seconds at a piece. So we'll uh, go ahead and throw this together and see if it works. Okay, I happened to find some, some old uh, machine bearings that actually fit perfectly on this part of the bushings. So um, I'm going to sink this side into a piece of wood that I mount on here. And uh, this is going to be the cutout for the roller to just grab the balls, stop the ones above and pinch it and roll the ones that the one to drop through. So uh, yeah, bearings, uh, it's always good having a parts drawer. Okay, so uh, I fabricated a uh, shaft that's going to be riding on these inch and a half bearings. Um, so, uh, and they will just uh, be clamped in place you know, with some wood that's uh, going to be countersunk. That's just, uh, I'm not using this piece, it's all janky. But that's the uh, idea, is have it sunk in there. And that will ride in the opening right there. Um, and then this motor will be mounted on the outside with a cut shaft going through here and these uh, I got some set screws they're 10 24th uh, pitch uh, set screws to uh, clamp onto that shaft so uh, I want it to be secure and steady and uh, so that should do it so it should just be just like that <laughs> and as it rolls pushes the ball through. Okay, this is where I'm at right now. I'm going to screw these all together, form a box around it, lid, and this will mount down the side, and then some shorter screws into the PVC to hold it all in place on three sides. So, looking pretty good. All right, so it's going every about 12 to 15 seconds. Um, gonna need to do some work on that. Figure out what to do. So. All right, let's see here. Okay, so uh, I had to modify it a little. It was binding up, so uh, it was, uh, and it was going too slow. It was about 15 or 16 seconds between balls. So I had to move it away from it a little more to prevent it binding, but I also had to increase the diameter of the wheel. So I just had some old Ure mountain biking grips laying around, so I trimmed it down and slipped it over the existing rubber that I had on there and now I'm at about nine seconds between pitches which is great it gives a little more time for you know you get ready to hit and uh, so we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll assemble it and uh, we'll give it a try okay so uh, I took out the uh, the longer elbow um, just because I wanted it a little more compact a little cleaner looking the clean out idea didn't work um, you just basically got to tilt the whole thing forward if a ball gets stuck in there. The clean-out wasn't a, an idea, so 
did away with that. Just kept it simple. 245s with that. Um, and then I uh, drilled some holes and sprayed the back inside of the tube red so that as the balls drop, you can see how many are left. And uh, so uh, we'll go ahead and turn it on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's right around seven or eight seconds. I'm not counting consistently, but that's not good. And then this is... This is the tilt test. You can see how it does. Got a, a big tilt. And it feeds it just fine. Let's see if it goes a little more. Let's see how back far we can go. Because the one's on line, so you can't tilt it. So let's see what this looks like. It still pitches. So that's awesome. I'm happy with the design. I'm going to clean this up and uh, we'll, uh, it's ready to play.